Hello and welcome to Around the World with Softy Safia and we are in North America. North America. And we've just joined with our little sister Zingi. All right. And you know we're going to go to a very strange looking country, a country that most of people would not even be able to pronounce. And which country are we talking Saint about? St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay, St. Vincent St. Vincent, if you watch the movie The Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. Jack Sparrow and everything around, that's the Caribbean islands we are talking about. And Jack Sparrow was marooned in this whole island. You know what a pirate looks like? He wears a, a that uh, in his eyes. It's called eye patch. Eye patch. And the pirates are the plunderers at sea. So if there's a ship with carrying a lot of money. Look, always pirates fight uh, with each other. Yes, huh? pirates fight with each other. And, and yes. they wear a cap. And they wear a cap, yes. And they have always a knife with them. Be correct. So these are the pirates we are talking about. And the island that the pirates stayed twice and, uh, in. Uh, yes. On their head they put some patti. Eh, okay, alright. So they put a lot of, yes. And they have the boat yes. with them. With them, uh, with them, uh, we have a boat, they carry the toys. Okay, they carry the toys. So now, this whole island's capital is Kingstown. And it's such a small, small island that actually the Granidines is made up of 32 small islands. And the islands are so small that they have a personality and a special name. So an island is called a Rabbit Island, Young Island, Pigeon Island. So, there are only nine islands where people live. And there is a small island called Meru, which has only 250 people. You know, there are more people living on a street than the entire island. And there's a rule in the island. The rule is, if you get married in the island, it's okay, but you must stay for three days in the island. People love people so much that they don't want to let you go. Right? But one good thing about St. Vincent and Grenadines is that there are botanic gardens in the island that they are so beautiful that people come all the way only to buy plants in this place. Must be beautiful, isn't it? And Safiya, a little bit of history that there was a treaty of Paris in 1763 and that is when St. Vincent was belonging to the Britishers and they got the independence from the Britishers after the Treaty of Paris. So now it's an independent France island. France gave the treaty. France was one who was holding it for the Britishers and France said you must give this island back to the country. Okay, so one small country that we did, we'll do one more small one and then we go to a bigger one. And this is called Saint Lucia. Okay, These, you know this island looks almost like Sri Lanka, yes. but it's one of the most popular tourist islands in the world. And what is it? The two words that go well, St. Lucia, is an island where you can get on your bike and get lost in the rainforest. It's such a beautiful island with lots and, and lots. And if you know the way, so you'll not get lost. You'll not get lost. You just, it's the, just the jungle. There are no roads there. So if you want to start going in, then you have to know the jungle well. St. Lucia holds a unique position as the only country in a book and the world. For what? Can you tell me? The only country in the world named after a woman, Lucia. The only country in the world, the first one to grow bananas or the last country to get the internet. What do you think is the answer? St. Lucia. Okay, St. Lucia is the only country to be named after a woman or the first country to grow bananas or the last country to get internet. The last country to get Internet, okay, Jumpy thinks that. What do you think, Softy? The first country to grow. Bananas, alright. And the answer is, the only country in the world named after a woman, her name is Lucia. You know, there was a movie called Lucy. This girl with all technical advances. Maybe this Lucia is the opposite sister, the twin sister of Lucy. <laughs> where she is completely laid back and only in the nature. Alright, one quick thing about this island is, it's the only island in the world where there is a drive-in volcano. You can put your seat belt on, you can sit on a boat and then the black waters erupt from the sulphur springs of the volcano. And make sure you can hold your nose because the sulphur smells more. like... I got an egg. Oh, excellent! Sauce, just Jumpy Jweria knows a periodic castle well. You know, if that's a series we are doing, 
Sulfur smells like rotten eggs. So hold your nose tight. And this is my country and that we talk about. And the volcano has vested like in Italy there was a city called oh, Pompeii. Yes. And it had uh, like cut gone burn. Yes, Vesuvius. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. And one quick history. Again, there was a tug of war between St. Lucia's Islands. Who owns it? The Britishers or the French? And British. both the countries were trying. 14 times it went once to France, then to Britishers, then to France, then to Britishers. 14 times until St. Lucia said, enough is enough. I want my independence. Victory, freedom. The 14 times they had like... Yes, tus, it's called tug of war islands also. Right then, we move on to the most powerful advance in the news country of the... 21st and 22nd century which one is USA. USA United States of America so what is special about USA oh lot of things and it is uh, full form is United States of America all right and what's the capital Washington DC okay you know United States of America I have a riddle or something. what is that tell me so the Chinese call United States of America Maigo Maigo means beautiful country and that's what Americans think and believe and because things are very very beautiful actually they are very big as well. You know how was the history of United States the name the land we call America was actually the Americas were a tribe and these the original name of the tribe was called Apache. Even now they have these Apache helicopters. So the Apaches lived for thousands and thousands of years in some of the states especially North you know, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico. And there's this also. Which one? Uh, Alaska. Oh, Alaska. Okay, that's far off. So United States but actually it's a has. Part of that. They actually have fifty states. How many states do we have in India? Twenty-nine. Okay, so this country has fifty states, and the American Revolution. There was a civil war in America. Dada's, uh, sister lives in America. Yes, and you know what? The United States first first again occupied by Great Britain. They are the one who occupied it. And then they had a big war. And they got themselves freedom from United uh, Great Britain. But then they had a civil war much before that. And there was a president by the name of Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln fought for the rights of the black. He called it the emancipation. So Abraham Lincoln was one of the most important presidents of the United States. Tall man, he used to wear a hat like a magician's hat. And he is the one who fought for the rights of the black people. Even then, America had a, one good thing about America, a lot of things. Open country, people can come in. One poor thing was the blacks were not given the rights. So heroes like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, of recently Muhammad Ali, Barack Obama, you know, they are the ones who grew up and Obama became the first black president of the United States. But MLK, Martin Luther King got a Nobel Prize for his fight and he said he got inspired by our own Mahatma Gandhi. This is the story of what America is. Another interesting story, you know, United States is the third largest country in the world. Yeah. Can you guess the largest? Russia. Second largest? USA. USA is third. Canada. Mm, it must be China. No. No? Could be Brazil. But I think it's China. We'll check that out when we do Asia. But America is the land of so many things. that It's called the home of the burger. Which, which company is your favorite burgers? KFC. KFC. McDonald's. McDonald's. What about Burger King? Nice. Nice. So now... I like all that also. America is the favorite fast food creator. All these countries, the fries, the burgers, the KFCs, the Taco Bells, all these are Americans. And today, 40 billion burgers are eaten every year in America. Wow. There are 7 billion people in the world. So imagine how many burgers would people eat. People are eating 7... How many? 40, 45 billion means... How many times is 7 to 45? Quickly, 7. Ah, we have to cut your match table, softy. 7, 32, All right, so it's 7 fives, huh? 7 fives. Okay, so we are getting softy 35. 
and seven six are forty two. So we're looking at around six so times seven, the seven population. All right. So that many number of people are eating burgers in America is also called the fat capital of the world. People have become obese. So many people are eating so many fast food like Starbucks, and then you have <coughs> milkshakes, and you have most important is fat for them. Yeah, the people are becoming obese. And we need to take care of that. By the way, America has the Disneyland, they have the Sea World, they have the mountains, and and one of the things America and loves, America has the like saying Neil Armstrong. Oh yes, Neil Armstrong was an American. There was a Cold War. You know what's a Cold War? No. Russians and Americans had a war called Proxy War. They didn't actually fight, but they will help the enemies of America, like Vietnam or Iraq or Afghanistan. So and Russia helped Cuba. Russia helped Cuba, and America helped Afghanistan. So this is called proxy wars. It's called Cold War. But one thing about Cold War was they also wanted to be the first people in space. So Russia, and when we do that, they sent the first man, Yuri Gagarin, in space. So America wanted to be the first person to send somebody in on moon, and there was a president called John F. Kennedy, and John F. Kennedy says something very beautiful. He says, "Don't ask what your country does for you." Ask what you do for your country. What are you doing for your country? So and then they all came together Who? in the Americans and they sent a something called Apollo, Apollo Eleven. And on Apollo Eleven, the first man, Neil Armstrong, and there was Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. They set foot on moon, and Neil Armstrong said that a small step step for men, giant leap for mankind. These are his words. Such beautiful words. He says, "Just one step I took, but all of us together have won." So man set first step on moon under United States, America. <coughs> And Russia? Russia has not gone to moon so far. It's the Americans who have gone there. And Americans have some amazing festivals. Russia you know? didn't go in no. space. Or no, they have gone in space. Yes, Russia is one of the first Russian dog called Laika. By the way, what's the national national bird of America? It's called the bald eagle. It's a special, beautiful. Yeah, it's a here like the Mexico has a eagle flag. We'll talk about Mexico. America, by the way, have a very interesting festival. We'll end up with that. There are many festivals in America, but one is called the Groundhog Day. Yeah, uh, I know. What is it? They they celebrate like our day day. So it is a small land beaver. It's like you know a squirrel. Yeah. They have to like uh, kill the beaver, and the beaver eat all like things. Yes, and the beaver will come out. If the beaver comes out, that means from the burrow, that means there will be some more winter. And this is a custom where people expect they check the weather through ground ground Groundhog Day. There is an amazing movie on the Groundhog Day. You must yes, watch sir. it. Yeah, it's a man who gets up on every day of his life is just the Groundhog Day. So on that, oh by the way, on the animals, there is a you know teddy bears that we all love. Yeah. Teddy bear was named after an American president called Theodore Roosevelt because he refused to shoot a black bear on hunting trip. He said, "I cannot shoot a bear." And today, you know, he's his name was Theodore, which is called Teddy. So we call it the Teddy Bear. America has some great presidents also: Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, Theodore Roosevelt, Barack Obama. Martin. Well, the the one current one, you know, the American current president. His name is Donald Trump. Oh, everybody knows Donald Trump. Until he's then, very like he speaks anything, uh, isn't it? Yeah. And but he is he he's a strict, strong man. And he he is friends with India president. Okay. Then, yes. This Narendra Modi and. Oh, friends. And friends, and what about Kim Jong? He also is making friendship with North Korea. He yeah. might get a Nobel Peace Prize, which will be the end of the, peace he prizes. He is the president. North Korea and South Korea forces to fight a lot. Okay. Now they are becoming friends. Okay. All right. And Safiya can be a political analyst. Safi, softy. Until then, we did some countries here and a big one. Until then, see you. Take care. America's flag, by the way, is called stripes and stars. Yeah. Or the and the and the national anthem is called Star Spangled. Uh, which is a beautiful thing. People know more about America than their own country because America is the most popular country in the world. Until then, have a great time. Goodbye and good luck.